Hello, and uh, welcome to another PC Perini tutorial. Um, today, we are going to go over uh, a couple simple ways of how to make your Windows XP machine look like Mac Leopard. Um, it's good if you want the convenience of the EXE and you don't want to have to go through the, the Mac transfer, or if you're simply like me and just you can't afford it. Um, so, here we go. First off, we have the background. That's easy enough to get. Um, all you have to do is just Google search, Google image search, um, Mac Leopard background, and it'll find it for you. Then we go into... Uh, there we go. Properties, desktop, browse, find your file, and uh, click OK. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to want to install something called Transbar. It'll take you to a link where you can go, download, install, and this is Transbar. That takes it off, puts it on, you can change the opacity with a really simple slider, and that's all you need for that. Next thing you're going to want to do is install Google Desktop if you don't already have it installed. This is the Mac equivalent of Spotlight, or the PC equivalent of Spotlight, pardon me. Um, I believe if you go to stylexp.com, you can find the theme that I'm using here, the, the start menu taskbar, and the uh, metallic leopard look, uh, if you go to stylexp. Browse around there. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install Camera Virtual Desktops. This is the equivalent of Spaces. It doesn't look as nice as Spaces, but it's good. You can configure these to auto-send different programs to different spaces. I have all my image editing and viewing programs opening in Space 2, because they take a lot of space. The next thing you're going to want to do is download Rocket Doc which is a neat little program that I've done a video on once already. And um, through Rocket Doc, you're going to want to put everything on this dock, and then you're going to want to download a reflective icon patch. These can be found at DeviantArt, uh, Rocket Doc, Object Doc, uh, or just by Googling it, you'll find a reflective icon patch, I'm sure. It'll give you a set of .png files. Those are image files that support transparencies. That's what's used on a Mac or uh, on a dock, sorry. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is install the uh, docklet or dock plugin called KK Menu, which uh, lets you open up what are essentially stacks. If anyone's ever seen that, that's what that's what stacks do. Um, and then of course you're going to want to download the obvious, like iTunes for Windows, um, Firefox, Thunderbird are both good clients. Um, iChat, if you want to, I'm not sure if they make a Windows version, um, I use Miranda IM, which is just as good. Um, iPhoto, if you want, that's actually a cover for Picasa, I've got to get around to changing that. Um, and uh, change the stacks with your reflective icons, and the one of the last things you're going to want to do is go into Doc Settings. Position, make sure it's on the bottom, etc. Go to General, Minimize Windows to the Dock. So, that happens. You minimize the window to the Dock. Um, from there, you can go around messing with things. Um, you can uh, change the way stuff boots, change, if you're, if you're really good, go in and change registry files to make certain things happen. Um, if, if you're wondering how to get rid of the, the trash icon, because that was a big problem, uh, when I first started with this, uh, I use um, Tweak UI, which is a power tool from Microsoft. Uh, that's a good program. Go ahead and show you that. There we go. And there's a lot of stuff you can change, including Alt Tab, the mouse. The Explorer. Uh, 
etc., 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 almost out of infinitum. And it's just, it's a really good program. Um, and, uh, I believe there was one last power tool that I used. Ah, the Alt-Tab. Uh, if you browse the, the power tools... Whoops. I only have one window open. But, uh, if you browse the power tools, you can find something that gives you, whoops, this nifty little alt tab function that has a very cool little preview, just like real uh, Mac OS. Okay, well that's about as far as I've gotten. I mean, if you can find something else for the Mac uh, team for Windows, please, please post it in a comment or a video response or something. Um, I am actually looking for a cover flow uh, thing for the Explorer, if you've seen the new Mac, the way the new Mac Finder do, uh, does cover flow, you can flip through everything, documents, videos, etc., um, in a cover, assuming uh, cover flow fashion. That's what I'm looking for now. Uh, if you know something of that kind, let me know. I'd love to think, I'd love to find it and put it, uh, add it on the video. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've gotten something from this. Uh, I really like the leopard theme. I think it emulates the leopard feel relatively well. It could be better, um, but then again, you could just go to Mac entirely, which is eventually what I'm going to do, and I could start doing some Mac tutorials as well. Um, so, all right. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, you haven't been bored to death. And uh, we'll talk next time.